What you see are not the visuals from Sri Lanka. These are the visuals from Iraq, where thousands of protesters stormed the presidential palace. Two months after the unprecedented Sri Lankan political turmoil, wherein thousands of protesters stormed the presidential palace in Colombo, similar sites were visible in Baghdad city in Iraq. But why? This came after the announcement by Iraq's influential Shiite Muslim cleric to quit politics. After which, his supporters took to the streets in protest and skirmishes between his rival backed groups and his loyalists ensued. Reportedly, more than 15 protesters have died in the clashes in Baghdad, and many more were injured by tear gas and physical altercations with riot police. The incident took place in Baghdad's Green Zone, an area where ministries and embassies are situated. The Iraqi military imposed a curfew at 3.30 pm and urged protesters to vacate the zone. Iraq is reeling under a political deadlock since Saadr's party secured the largest majority in October parliamentary elections but did not secure enough seats to form a government. The poll results were followed by his refusal to form a coalition government with his rivals, including the Iran-backed Shiite. Now his decision to quit politics has triggered uncertainty for a country of more than 4 crore people. At a time when Iraq is witnessing a political deadlock, Sadr's supporters or his rival supporters were seen availing luxuries at the president's residence. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.